welcome back to the Home Care OT. My name is Maddie. I am an occupational therapist and owner of Threshold Therapeutic. I'm here to answer today's question. That is, what are spinal precautions? What a genius question. Let's talk about it. Spinal precautions are simply things that are recommended that you do not do with your spine and your trunk following any type of spinal surgery. These are also excellent guidelines to follow if you are someone who suffers from chronic back pain, from arthritis, from a compression, where you're constantly having pain in your back. These are great guidelines to follow to reduce the risk of any future damage and to protect your spine and keep everything aligned. So the precautions are, precautions is simply a word for things that are recommended that you do not do. Those precautions are no bending, no lifting, no twisting, or for an easy way to remember, the LT, think of the sandwich. So the first one, no bending, simply that means no bending at the waist to pick something up off the floor. If you need to do this, you can do a squat technique where I keep my spine aligned. I squat to pick something up off the floor this way, keeping everything nice and straight. You can also use adaptive equipment. You can use a device that's called a reacher to help you reach and grab something up off the floor. Please feel free to check out our video on use of reachers in our self-care series for more information. Second is no lifting. The general guideline is no lifting anything heavier than a gallon of milk, that's about five pounds. If you do need to lift something, we want to keep that item close to our body instead of farther away from our body to keep things close to the spine and again, protect that as much as possible. The third precaution is no twisting. So we're not gonna sit here and do the twist. This has a few implications. If I need to reach over to the table and pick something off of that, I want to avoid taking my upper body, moving it this way to grab something while my feet are still facing forward. So the guideline to follow with no twisting is to always make sure that your trunk and your feet are always facing the same direction. We don't want to turn them independently of each other. So if I wanted to reach and pick up the candle off the table, I would want to turn my entire body sideways, pick that up, again, hold items close to your body, and then put it back down, and then turn my entire body as one unit. If you are someone who uses a walker, we want to keep extra watch on this. I'm gonna grab my walker. If you are walking with a walker and need to change the direction that you're walking, most people's inclination is to take their walker, turn it to the side, and then follow along with their feet to go this direction. This is twisting, so if we're following spinal precautions, we want to make sure that we are not twisting. Also, if we're twisting this way, we also have an extra fall risk because I can potentially trip over my feet as I'm moving. So if you're walking with a walker and need to change directions, we need to take small steps so that our trunk and our lower body move as one unit. So it should take you a few steps to get facing if you're changing 90 degrees. If I'm turning behind me, it should take me no less than three or four turns, keeping my body aligned to get moving the opposite direction to make sure that I am not twisting my body. So if you've just had spinal surgery or you suffer from chronic back pain, bending, lifting, twisting are things to be avoided to make sure that you stay aligned and to protect your spine from further damage. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching the Home Care OT. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with our content. And for more information, head on over to our blog at thresholdot.com.